Welcome back to this video. Today we will talk about premium and discount and how to use the opening price of any candle as a dynamic premium discount anchor point. First of all, what is premium? What is discount? Premium means price is expensive. Discount means price is cheap. When would we like to buy? Ideally, when price is cheap. When would we like to sell? Ideally, when price is expensive. Some people refer to these terms as oversold or overbought, but we like to use premium and discount. So let's imagine a candle opens up right there. Okay, let's imagine this is the current candle. That means prices start to trade higher and is currently at this price point. Looking at the candle from the open, that means price is more expensive than it used to be a few minutes ago when we opened the candle. Let's imagine the opposite. This is our current candle. Let's make this one gray. That means price has opened up and traded lower and we are currently cheaper than we were a few minutes or hours ago when we opened up the candle. This is the very general concept but we can get way more advanced than this because using tools like the OHLC stat map which basically gives you statistics about the range where a price typically trades lower and higher um, we can use that to take this whole theory to another level. Let's look at a normal candle once again to explain what the tools are showing. Let's put that away for now. In the very most cases, candles traded above and below its opening prices. So typically we have wicks on both sides. And usually one side is longer than the other, which means price expanded in one direction. So what this tool basically is doing, it's calculating the average amount where price trades below the opening price on a bullish candle and above the opening price on the bullish candle. Also the opposite, on a bearish candle it's calculating how much we trade above the opening price and how much we're trading below the opening price. So looking at it like this, let's say we have our statistics on how far price typically manipulates, which basically means trades in the opposite direction than where it will later close, which is usually a smaller range, and how much price will distribute. Okay, so let's say this right there is the average manipulation range, once again, the average range where price trades against the direction where it's later closing, so in this case open to high on bearish candles and open to low on bullish candles. This is the average range of manipulation and this is the average range of distribution, which means on bullish candles open to high, on bearish candles open to low. So let's say we have these average ranges. That means we can take premium and discount to another level. Okay, let's imagine we have a bearish bias and price trades above the opening price. That means price is already expensive, which is good for potential sales. Now let's imagine price trades higher than the statistical manipulation level. If we trade above this, that means we are above the price level, the statistical price level, where bearish sessions usually make their high of the session. That means we are in quite far premium. Price is relatively expensive here. And now let's take this even further and let's say price trades above this level, which is statistical bullish distribution level. So not only are we above the price where bearish sessions usually make the high, we are even above where bullish sessions even make the high, which means we are in an extreme premium. Prices very, let's say, overbought and prices likely to show some retracements or even reverse towards lower prices. Once again, pair this with your buyers with your external analysis and you can look for reversals around this level or around this level. The higher we are above the opening price, the more expensive we are, the more overbought we are. 
this works equally well for bullish sessions. Let's just reverse this for simplicity purposes. Let's make this one bullish. This now is the statistical bullish manipulation level. And this line down there is the statistical bearish distribution level. So once again, this is the opening price. Everything below this is considered cheap or discount. Now let's say we move below the statistical bullish manipulation level. That means we are below the average range where price usually made the low of the session. That means price is even more cheap. Price is already oversold. Now let's imagine price trades even further down below the statistical bearish distribution level. That means even bearish sessions usually don't trade further, which means we are very, very oversold and in extreme discount. Okay, this is that. Let's now look at real price action and see what price did. This concept works equally well on any time frame. Let's look at the last two historical sessions. And just to make it clear, typically uh, an expansion always comes after manipulation. In this case, this was the month of June. We can see this was a ranging month. We didn't reach either manipulation level. So we have never been in either an overbought or oversold scenario. So there wasn't much of an expansion because there wasn't much of an ex manipulation either. Let's look at the month of July. This is a good example. As you can see, the monthly candle opened up on July 1st, which makes sense. And price traded higher towards that statistical manipulation level. Once again, that means bearish sessions typically made their high of the session, in this case of the month, at this range from this opening price to this price. Let's look how far that is and that equals 89 pips for the Aussie dollar. So price traded higher and here we knew okay price is in an overbought scenario. Everything once again everything above the opening price is considered premium and everything manipulation level even more premium, extreme premium, higher premium, whatever. So as you can see we have we are in premium, we are in extreme premium, and from there price reversed and traded lower and closed their month bearish. Same thing for the current month. We are currently in August. Um, and as you can see, price once again opened up here, traded lower, and reached that manipulation level, that monthly manipulation level. Okay, let's just look at this example a little bit further. As you can see, price took out April's low and rejected off of it. So not only are we in discount because we are below the opening price and we are in even further discount because we are below the statistical manipulation level, we've also taken out an important liquidity pool. In this case, April's low. So we know we are in discount, in extreme discount, and we've taken out a liquidity pool. And as you can see, once again, price rejected and from there traded higher. But this concept not only works on the monthly time frame, we can also look at it on, for example, the daily time frame. Let's go down to the 5th August where price reversed from April's low. And let's turn off historical sessions. And let's make the indicator look at the weekly time frame. Okay, perfect. Let's move this there. As you can see, price traded super aggressively down on Monday. And as I told you already, let me turn off the abbreviations. As you can see, this down there, this is the weekly distribution level, which means even if we have a bearish week, price typically doesn't trade further than this distribution level. This is statistically where price, where bearish sessions made the low. So we know everything below this is very, very extreme discount. Also, everything below the opening price is discount and everything below the manipulation level is discount as well. And I think it's quite nicely visualized with the transparency of these boxes because as you can see, 
this light red here is already discount, this darker red is further discount and this dark red is extreme discount. So we have all these ranges. And that means price is in an extreme oversold scenario down there and we've taken out a put slow and we are as i showed you earlier we are below the monthly manipulation level as well so we have multiple confluences on why price was likely to reverse which is also where i posted on twitter that i was looking for longs from this level because once again price rejected and we had all of these confluences so i was looking for higher prices here and traded all the way up until somewhere around here even though price from there traded higher and higher for the next few weeks um i think this is it for this premium and discount lesson i also made a twitter post about this i will link that in the description and thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know